today's video I'll be talking about the K18 GPS signal detector. Uh, this is used to find bugs and stuff like that. Trackers. So it says here the K18 detector adopts German advanced technology and is designed for the market of all kinds of bugs, car trackers, mobile phone, undercover software, wireless pinhole cameras, surveillance cameras, casino fraud devices, etc, etc. So I'll be testing this out today and I will we're going to see if, how well this thing actually works or not. So it comes with this manual as you can see here. I didn't get the box version, I just got the OEM version without the box. So it came with um, this antenna. This is for detecting radio frequency, uh, radio frequencies, and this is uh, for detecting magnets right here. So you just plug it in, it just goes in just one way. You see this little dimple right there. There's a little indent right there. You just push it in. You only need this if you want to detect uh, magnetic fields, and I'll demonstrate that. Just push it in, and then just screw this in. Screw this wash in. Simple as that. It's flexible, actually. You can see that it's flexible. Some electronic devices uh, emit uh, a magnetic field, so that's why this is used for detecting magnetic fields. And um, this antenna, RF antenna, goes in here, just like that, just screws right in. And turning it on is easy. Um, as for the, it comes with a power adapter, which is, uh, I think it's five volt. 1,000 milliamps or one amp power supply. If this, if the one that it came with breaks, you just you could buy another one quite easily. These are quite common. Just have to know the diameter of the barrel jack. And you can get a replacement quite easily. Those are very common. Um, and you just plug it in here, as you can see, the, the five volt power adapter. And there's a little LED here. It flashes red when you're charging it. Right now I'm not charging it, so there isn't anything. And uh, this is a signal detector for the radio frequency. So I'll turn it on. So if I turn it on all the way, it's going to detect something because there's radio waves um, all over the place and if you set up the sensitivity too high it's going to detect something because there's uh, radio waves whether that be from a radio station or uh, uh, my from my neighbors that have their, their Wi-Fi uh, routers on or whatever that's going to detect it so the first thing I'll test is a cell phone a smartphone this thing right here. We'll turn this, turn this on. Turn the knob to get the sensitivity. Detecting something. It's just a knob. So it is detecting it. 
So now I'm going to go to my Wi-Fi router and we're going to see if that uh, is detecting the flow. My Wi-Fi router. So I set the bar to that. Very low. As you can see, it is detecting my Wi-Fi router. So it does detect it. It doesn't really work well with the phone, unfortunately. It doesn't really work well with the phone. But it does work with the Wi-Fi router. It does detect that. For some reason, for the phone, it's not very good. But uh, Let's try something else. Let's try a uh, Wi-Fi, not Wi-Fi, but a Bluetooth, a Bluetooth uh, controller here. I'm going to turn this on. Okay, the Bluetooth is detected. That's detecting. Okay, the Bluetooth is detecting. Doesn't have any problem detecting that. But for cell phones, it doesn't really work well. Uh, let's try using the magnetic uh, sensor. And to use that, all you have to do is you press the MS button, keep it pressed. And then it switches to GS, and that's for uh, magnets, detecting magnetic fields, actually. And I have a magnet right here. I have some magnets, neodymium magnets. I'll be trying to detect this. As you can see, it is detecting this magnetic field. And this, the LED light was flashing as a result of it. So it does detect magnetic fields. And uh, for electronics, um, some electronics do emit magnetic fields. This device claims that it could detect um, electronic devices that are using the radio frequency from 1 megahertz to 1,000 1, megahertz. Let me check if that's correct. Detection. Actually, it says one megahertz to eight gigahertz. Okay, one megahertz to eight gigahertz. So let me check something. So, um, 3G is from 850 megahertz to 2.1 gigahertz or 2100 megahertz and uh, 4G is from 600 megahertz to 2.5 gigahertz and 5G is from 3 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz so gigahertz is um, I think billion billion megahertz that's what it means um, so let's see, so it disclaims that it could detect devices which are anywhere from 1 megahertz to 800 megahertz or 8 gigahertz. 
So it definitely could detect a Wi-Fi device, which was, which has a frequency band of, um, I mean a Bluetooth, I'm sorry, which is 2.402 to 2.48 gigahertz or 2,402 megahertz to 2,480 megahertz. Definitely could detect Bluetooth, no problem. Uh, my Wi-Fi route, uh, router, um, I think it's about 2.4 gigahertz. And you saw that this device was detecting that. For some reason, for, for the smartphone, it doesn't really work that good. It doesn't detect it. And um, let's try another thing. Let's try using this thing right here to detect uh, camera lenses. And see if that's really, it can really do that or not. So what you do is you just press this thing. Go back to MS. And we keep this pressed. And it, you see the light is blinking um, faster and Turn this back on. Okay, here. I want it to flash a little bit faster, higher frequency. Okay, if it flashes faster like that, that's good because uh, we could use this range finder here. I mean, this eyepiece and try to detect the camera and as you can see you can see the camera lens right I'm not sure if you can see that or not get that a little bit better yeah you can see the camera lens this infrared kinda like shows the lens and uh, let's see there's a camera right here as well right there my fingers pointing Try this again, turn it back on. Okay, now it's blinking. Gonna look in there. I could see the camera lens which is right there actually by putting it into that viewfinder kind of like flashes that's what this infrared thing is for so if you want to detect uh, find any bugs in your car let's say um, you should take your car to a pretty secluded area where there isn't a lot of uh, radio frequency waves uh, and just scan the car to see if there's any bugs in it or anything like that so the way you start it is you start it at a very low frequency until you get one bar and then you just you just start searching basically Let's see. Now it's at one bar. And that's how you do it. You just start searching like that. Um, yeah, so it's useful, but it's very, um, it's very basic in, the, in a way that, because uh, it doesn't tell you what kind of uh, frequency it is. So a more expensive um, detector would have uh, an indicator of what kind of uh, frequency, what kind of device is being scanned, for example, 
um, if a uh, it will tell you that it will, it's a Bluetooth or something, or if it's a, a Wi-Fi device or something like that. But this one doesn't because this one's not very expensive. It's just a very basic uh, electronic detector or a radio frequency detector. Radio frequencies um, range anywhere from um, I think it's three hertz to up to 300 megahertz. For 5G phones, um, it's anywhere from um, 3,000 megahertz to 300 gigahertz. So some of the 5G range goes into the microwave territory, which is very high frequency, and uh, that's why that's what allows a uh, 5G to transfer. Um, data more quickly over shorter ranges because it has a higher frequency and that's how it works so if you're interested in getting one of these I have it in the video links below these things are not very expensive or anything but it's it's pretty useful to have I I carry one in my car because uh, you know with all these people using stuff like Apple AirPods and um, putting it on your car or something, hiding it in your car or something and trying to track your car and so they could steal it later. So I use something as simple as this to like find these things. I usually take it to a secluded area where there's a lot of uh, um, radio frequency activity and I search the car, maybe around the wheel area. People usually put it um, under where your car wheel is at, you know, the the the, fen the part of the top of the wheel, you know, they put it in there or something, and um, I basically use it to, I do a search from time to time to see if any joker put anything, anything like an AirPod or a tracker on my car. So uh, that's what I want to share with you, and thanks for watching. The thing I want to show you with the GS detector is that when um, the magnets are sticking together like this it doesn't work you see that's interesting isn't it however when I take the magnets apart like that now it does work so I feel this thing is sticking to the sticking to this probe thing I guess that's how the sensor works so if there's uh, these magnets are like together doesn't work because there's no attraction with this but that's the last thing I want to share with you and thanks for watching